Okay, it should be okay. Oh my. Drinking so much water right now. I got to, it's so hot. Yeah, I think it's like a hundred and something here. Well, I'm in Nova Scotia. <laughs> we don't go by that. But anyway, here we go. We have uh, uh, Chase Hackins, the purple lace, pinky circuit, and we have the green Protoss Enix in the uh, lower right. So this is not a Zerg favorite map at all, or sorry, not a Protoss favorite map, sorry. It's a Zerg favorite map, everybody knows that. You cannot, you can barely do a fast forge expand on this map. This is probably why it's not in ladder anymore. <laughs> it definitely, but we'll soon see what happens. Can as a Enix, Zerg, you definitely can expand quickly here. Yeah. It's definitely a very nice map for us. It's very hard for Protoss to wall off. It's so big. I mean, look at this huge. You gotta do it right. If you don't do it right, you're dead. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely very, very difficult. And even when you do it right, you're still fairly wide open. You know, this map, what I used to do against her, I used to put a pylon right here, put two cannons, cannon harass them to death, and then get up here and get vision and just can them. <laughs> so what I used to do, and it worked. It pissed Zerk off so much. I'd say, here's what you get for tip picking a map that's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I hate Zerk. But I'm gonna be in prayer, so let's see if Chase Atkins can prove to be, and now he came up with his pull a lot earlier this time, instead of going for hatch first. So I think he's going to six pull him or ten pull him or something. I don't have very many Jones. Yep, ten pull. That's what he's doing. And it's very strong. Prodaz has nothing. This could be GG already. Yep. Now look what Protoss did. Aha, all the men. See, that's what I was thinking you should have done. But he's got no defense. He's, so. But he doesn't know at this point. This is going to be surprise, surprise for him. And I'm surprised that, the, the, that he's not walling himself in right now to prevent. This is... Very, there very interesting to say the there least. There goes the forge. And he laid two cannons before. So. But he's not doing what I would normally do. Hey. It's just. Gonna... I think basically what he's saying is I can out micro your six lings with my probes. Yeah. Probably can. It's gonna be a micro battle right now between the workers and the. And Should the be very interesting. If he can get us around, he'll he'll definitely take these zerglings out. Yeah, but his nexus is under attack. Can't he can't let the zergs keep attacking us. Now he, now there you go, putting a cannon right in the mineral line. So his nexus should be okay. That can will finish in roughly a couple of seconds. And it should be a okay from there. Be interested if we see a. I would have thought that we'd seen a Roach Warren coming out of uh, this guy, but it doesn't nope, appear so. It looks like he's, he's got that gateway coming down. He's got a gateway there, too. Interesting. Should be interesting. He's, uh, I'm sure he'll throw down a pylon behind the. Uh, I would assume so. The two, the two cannons there, and he's gonna walk this spine crawler down. 
Now he does have a cannon here and he's going to have a cannon up there once the pylon finishes so he'll have adequate protection right now against Lynx. Exactly. So he's probably going to go to Roaches I would say. Oh yeah, we we should definitely see a Roach Warren here pretty soon. He's He's got the gas for it. And looks like the Zealots are retreating, they're going back home. Which is interesting I would say. And down come these spine crawlers. Now two spine crawlers or one spine crawler will lose to two cannons. And that zealot definitely needs to get the damage in while he can and then back out. And he's gonna take out that gateway. Yeah. Just slowly but surely. So that's a lot of money invested in something, but those, those lungs are getting needed out by zealots right now. Well, that's what I figured he had to do. He had to wall himself in somehow. Defend himself because fast forward expense almost impossible on this map. Very hard to do and there goes a... This there goes all those buildings for nothing, so that's going to put him behind. Unit's lost, Connor, as you can see, Protoss is behind right now by more than 700. Just about, almost 700. Not quite, but almost. And Zerg 6 Manning as well. And plus he's got his spine color, so he's, he's well set. So let's see what happens here. We have Root Speed coming out as well. And a robotics coming out, and a third for Zerg. And he is taking out that one overlord. What is Protoss going to do? It, uh, he's definitely gonna have to do some sort of one base all in it looks like. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to push here and do a one base all in. I'm, I'm guessing, that's what I would think. he would get his warp gate down and then he'll push more than likely. If not, he's, I think he may just be too far behind to ever catch this Zerg, but especially if, since you can see all the drones there, he's, I mean, he's got maybe four drones to transfer, whereas And we do have an expansion coming up for Protoss as well. Oh. So, kind of weird. No roaches yet in place, so... No, well there's... I, I, look, I believe I just saw four of them. Five of them. So, at this point, it's definitely going to be tough for that Protoss to catch, especially with that third coming up. Yeah, that Nexus is very late. But it's only late because they're denied it the first time. And I think what Protoss did is they invested way too much into that cannon, whatever the hell it was. Three, three uh, pylons and the three cannons into uh, a gate and two couple of sentries, <laughs> or a couple of zealots, sorry. But he's gonna stick up this hatch. That's for sure. So, put back Zerg back on two base. So Zerg's back on two base now. Now is Protoss going to keep pushing? Looks like he is. And Zerg's, it's almost impossible to keep pine crawling in this place too. It's way too big. Yeah. But it's enough of a deterrent a lot of times for those stalkers that they won't push in on him. And, and it looks like keep he's... Keep warping in yep, stalkers yep. right now. And these stalkers are going to take these, these roaches out. There's just too many for him to deal with. He may have overextended here by taking that third. And he's, he's backing off now, surprisingly. I'm he really has surprised. to because he was losing stalkers. 
I felt like he was maybe he was trading efficiently, but I'm Ooh, and he doesn't get another warp in cycle. Here comes an immortal, though. This is really gonna change the battle here. Those Zerglings are going down right away. This this immortal is gonna start doing some serious damage to these roaches. I was trying to get another ball on that, but the Zergas uh trying their best to well. get that get that stupid Zergling. <laughs> there you go. I at least defend the pylon. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> Zerg is uh, got spine colors around, so this could actually give Protoss uh, time to get their second base saturated right now. Yeah, it definitely could. It's just there's so many roaches here. He needs that immortal to do work, and that immortal is about to fall. Oh, this could this could spell the end right here. Just those roaches continuing to push forward, and, and there goes that pylon. Yeah, exactly. Oh, now he's boy. he's gonna push right over into that other base, and this this could be the beginning of the end right here. Yeah, he needs to pop up some immortals, and now he doesn't have the money. Doesn't have the money. All he has is street talkers. And there's the GG, beautifully played by Chase. He <laughs> knew he was behind, so. Enjoy the points. The chase does it.